Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Lisa's Coloring Corner. If you're new here, hello and welcome to the channel. And if you're back, welcome back. Today we're going to go through all of my coloring supplies and a few diamond painting supplies that I purchased or was sent to me for review from August of 2022 through the end of January 2023. I was going to do this all in one video. The books video ended up being an hour long. So, so I am splitting this out into two videos. So this video is for the supplies. What should we start out with? <laughs> Let's start out with this. This is um, an electric eraser with uh, refills included. Now I like the fact that they come in this cute little plastic case because you know you can misplace them, lose them very easily. Works really well and along with that and they're in a big mess because I just kind of threw them back in the case. Um, they also sent me these dual tip uh, water base markers. So you have the brush tip on one end and the fine tip or fine liner on the other end. I did do a review of both of these. There is a video out there. So got that from, I don't know if it's Grabby or Grabby, G-R-A-B-I-E. And here are three things I did not show on my channel, but I did get these. They're Pentel Dual Metallic Brush Pens. Um, I myself have not even looked at these yet, and they're packaged up, so I'm not going to undo them. Um, but I thought they would kind of be handy for enhancing coloring book pages. And then everybody's familiar with the glaze uh, gel pens uh, from Sakura. And I thought, you know, because these kind of make it 3D, um, I thought that would be kind of neat to, again, add some textures and whatnot to some coloring book uh, pictures. And then Sharpie came out with a skin tones set. And at that time, they only had the fine tip, not the ultra fine. And I haven't looked. Now, I purchased these quite a while ago. I don't know if they have the ultra fine tip now. And if they do, I would like to get them. You can see we have a lot of beautiful browns in here. So, got those. Then from Artix, they sent me these two sets. So we have a set of acrylic markers, whoppers. <laughs> these are huge. Um, they're called wide tip and opaque. Paint on anything. So these are 10 millimeter. So works great if you have a large area to color or paint. And here is another acrylic marker set. This is a 30 set, much smaller in size, but they are brush tip. So really like the brush tips on these. So there are two layers in here, really pretty colors again. Swatching video is out there for both of these. All right, another video I did was, oh, hoo -hoo, these are dual tip marker pens. We have a fine tip and the brush tip. Now, I'm not sure if these are out there anymore because they are pretty much twi marker from Arteza dupes um, look pretty familiar, don't they? So we have the brush on the one end, and then this ultra fine, it's almost like a plastic 
tip again exactly like our Tizas. <laughs> and again, I'm not sure if they're still available or not. But they're really nice. I really I really like them because I do like my Arteza toy markers. So and the toy markers are what looks just like this. So a um, couple diamond painting things. Uh, I'm going to be starting a heaven and earth conversion diamond painting where you start with a blank canvas and then you have a pattern, a cross stitch pattern, and you count out on the square. Some of you probably know what I'm talking about. Most of you probably don't. Probably don't care. But this is a timer because I want to keep track of the time that uh, I spend on that diamond painting. So it's just a simple little timer and you can pause it if you get up to go to the bathroom or what have you. So that's for that. I did buy one of these little vacuums and these are real popular for diamond painters in case you get some spilled drills or your children or, or pets are around. This one is different than your typical ones that you usually see. I love this one and I've had to use it a couple of times. Um, comes with this attachment. So if you have to get in a fine area, you can use this to maybe go under something or whatnot. Haven't had to use that yet. It is rechargeable and it it just it works so nice. There are two speeds to it. So you have your low speed and then your higher speed. And it really does suck up the drills, let me tell you. I had a whole bunch that I spilled on my uh, mat upstairs by my diamond painting uh, drafting table. And this picked them up. So I really do like this vacuum. I had one of the other cheaper ones. And while it kind of worked, it kind of didn't. Seen this one on Amazon. I, I do. I really like it. It does come with a brush to clean out the tray once you turn it and you empty it out and you can clean out the bottom. So yeah, really like that. Okay, so yeah, I'll have a few smaller diamond painting things. Um, I purchased a bunch of diamond painting cases, um, diamond paintings, of course, <laughs> but I won't be showing all of that. So um, another diamond painting related thing, I bought this great big uh, 3D printed tray. This thing comes in so handy when you're kidding up because invariably you're going to spill some drills or if you're de-kitting, I like to keep this right underneath. So as I'm pouring them into the bags, if any slip, you know, any fall out, you just, you know, go down like that. So yeah, got this on Etsy. And another thing I got, I had mentioned in my coloring chat, I was starting to do a planner electronically on my iPad. So I went ahead and got an Apple Pencil. And then I really liked this silicone uh, cover. So I even had my name engraved in it. Um, so yeah, and then I got these different types of tips. These are not the tip that comes with them. Um, this is a, I don't know if you can see it. This is a metal tip, and I really do like it. And these will not wear out like the tips, the plastic tips that come with the pen. These are metal tips, and they're finer. So you can see more as you're writing, whereas the plastic tips that come with the pen, you have a hard time kind of seeing where you are writing. So. I do like these. Um, I'll see 
maybe eventually I'll go back to the other tip. I don't know. But uh, those do eventually wear down and you do have to get some new ones. So I do like that. I had bought a cloud stencil off of Amazon. I thought this would be really pretty with pastels for backgrounds. Then I bought some black paper. This is a uh, black cardstock. Um, in the future now, whenever I do a colored pencil swatching video, I want to also get out a sheet of black paper. And not, I'm not going to swatch them all, but just pick out a few different color families, like maybe one from the yellow, one from orange, one from red, etc., etc., and especially the white, because you want to see how opaque uh, that set of pencils is. All right, so I did buy some black paper. I did buy a new, uh, what do you call these? Some board, whatever. <laughs> um, you know, where you put your paper in up here. Clipboard, is that it? Um, but what's nice about this is it opens up. You have a pad of paper. And over here you have a folder. Now this is what I primarily use for when I am creating color charts. So I have all of that in there. These are color charts I still have to make, plus many others, but that's all that's in there right now. So yeah, love this. Love the prettiness. <laughs> Um, let's see. I had done a swatching video on these. Oh, who, who sent me these? This is the Skin Tone set. And this is um, the chisel tip and the fine tip. So it is not the brush tip. Um, but very pretty colors in this set, especially if you do portraits, right? So they do have a separate skin tone set. And now, of course, they do have a brush tip skin tone set. And I have not heard yet if they are going to, or when, I should say, they're going to be coming out with the refills. Because I did hear that, yes, they are going to be coming out with refills, but We've been hearing that for quite a while now. So, who knows? All right, did a swatching video on these. Some more from Oh Hoo Hoo. Now these are water, no, these are alcohol based, sorry. Um, but they have a nice, let's open this. A nice small, they're triangular, small brush tip, and then a very small chisel tip. So they're smaller than your typical alcohol markers. They're real slim. They have this little indentation, so they are very comfortable to hold. So they have two sets out, and they have the, there's 48 colors in each, so there's 96 colors in total. We have this one and this one, and I can't remember what they were called now. And they're really not on the case. Um, I see the names are on the, uh, on uh, Amazon, which is where I got these from. So we have those. What other goodies do we have? Oh yeah, I purchased this. Now what is this? This is from Zyron. This is a, it's like the Tombow sticky uh, double-sided glue runner. This is called the Mega Runner. Love my Tombow. Um, it's real thin though. Sometimes you just need some larger, some wider uh, glue. 
And so that's what this is for. Um, there is 100 feet on this roller, um, but I thought as long as I was ordering it, I went ahead and I bought a, uh, not replacement, a refill. Um, so that's what's in here. I didn't even look at it, didn't open it. Um, I'm going to keep this because it says how to um, replace it, what you have to open. So I thought I'd keep that. Okay, so we have that. We're going to put all this. All right. I purchased two paper cutters. I have one very large, heavy-duty paper cutter, and that's all I had for quite a number of years but there's so many projects that I want just a small paper cutter so I bought this one and this is one that you just you know you go up and down uh, very most of you are probably very familiar but I wanted one even smaller than that so from Fiskars isn't that a cute little baby <laughs> and this is one that has, what do they call it, the guillotine handle? Um, but you can see how small it is. So I had a bunch of uh, index kind of size cards that I had to cut down, like by an inch or so. This worked perfectly. This would have worked, um, but this worked so, so well. Um, and I believe I got these both off Amazon. If at any time you want to link to anything that I show in this video, because again, I'm showing a number of things that I haven't shown on my channel in a video. So if you want links to anything, just let me know down in the comments below or shoot me an email, okay? All right, now what do we have? Oh, something else that I purchased um, that I thought would come in handy. And there's a reason, open sesame. There's a reason why I got these. Well, holy hand. Jeez. Talk about struggles. What these are, and they come in this set of three, is their dual-ended razor blades. Now, one end is plastic razor blades. And why I wanted this was sometimes you can't get your diamond painting labels off your containers. Um, and of course, you don't want to use a metal razor blade on plastic. That would be silly. Um, so plastic razor blades. And then on the other end is your typical metal razor blade. Be very careful. Do not let kids get a hold of these. Make sure you put them somewhere where they cannot get them because even though they're a little hard to pull off, a child would be able to get that off. So, I mean, common sense would say, you know, don't let your kids get at this, just like scissors and things. But yeah, so I got those. Um, I got a set of these little bitty sponge brushes. <laughs> what I thought these would be handy for is if you're doing a pastel background and you have some details and whatnot that you want to get that pastel into, um, something like this that has a very fine point you know, something like this. We have a bigger one. This one has a very long handle. I guess it doesn't matter to me because this is just fine. Um, not sure why the longer handle, but I'm sure there's a reason. Um, so yeah, nice little pastel sponges. They're just sponges on the end of these. Um, not sure how long they're going to last, you know, sponges when you're working with pastels and depending upon the paper that you're using, if it's, um, you know, just Amazon paper that's rougher, it's probably aren't going to last real long, but I don't know 
Yeah, I don't see the sponges coming off. I was wondering if there were replacement sponges, but I guess not. But that's why I got those. Um, let's see. Another diamond painting related thing now. Don't laugh. This is actually for orthodontics. <laughs> For people who have braces, um, this is wax. Okay, let's let's open this up. This is actually wax that you put on the braces, right? <laughs> so they don't chew up your your lips and your cheeks and everything. Anybody that has brace has had braces probably is very familiar with this kind of stuff. Let me zoom in. I am zoomed out quite a ways. Um, but this stuff works awesome for your diamond painting pens when you are doing A, B drills. I use glue dots um, for all my diamond painting. Glue dots are way too strong for A, B drills. Um, this stuff works great. <laughs> And there's enough wax in here to last a lifetime um, because it comes in a set of, what was it, six. So, yeah, um, I used some of that wax, and it works fantastic. I haven't used it in a multi-placer. I don't know what it would, how it would work in a multi-placer, but single-placer for ABs. Wunderbar. All right, um, let's go with this. We're getting to some bigger stuff. <laughs> Got all the small stuff out of the way. Dottie Doodle sent me this set and, oh boy, the struggle is real, folks. The struggle is real. Is that where it opened? Yeah. Um, a set of four posters. Now I have done uh, two, I have shown two Dottie Doodle posters in the past and those you had to um, figure out by a separate, uh, what would you call it, guide sheet. Those had the numbers on in these little circles and then you had to take that number, put it up on your poster. So it was a little bit harder. These, however, are different. Number one, they're much smaller. Number two, the numbers are right in the circles for these. So I had started one of these in a color and chat. Now you ask, how do you know what number, what, what marker, you know, what, what number goes with these? What color? Well, in each kit, they always send you the markers. They don't send them in this case. Oh, sorry about that. But they do send you all the markers that you're going to need for, in this case, a set of four. In the big posters, they will send you all of these. Now, normally, I put mine in color family order for this because you are not looking for a specific color blend or whatnot, I put them in number order. Um, I had this spare marker case, fits in it, uh, fits in this case really well, so I decided to keep all the markers in here for this set of four uh, Dotty Doodle posters. Isn't that just fun to say? Go ahead, say it with me. Daddy Doodle. Daddy Doodle. <laughs> Daddy Doodle. So you get all your markers in here along with the posters and what they will look like. These aren't really posters. They're more pictures. The other ones are humongous. The circles are much, much bigger. But when you get it done, oh, they're so, so cute. So this was a set of four Christmas pictures. And if you go over to dottydoodle.com, um, you can see all the different sets they have out. Some of the big posters, and now they're coming out with more of these smaller ones um, in the set of fours. 
So, that is from who? Dotty Doodle. Okay, put that up there. What's next? Oh, I had purchased this. It isn't necessarily coloring related, but for me, it was. You know I am a Hanalyn nut. <laughs> um, this is over on, oh my God, where did I buy it? Uh, I know there's those two sites where you can buy merchandise from specific artists and whatnot. And I'm drawing a blank. Anywho, I purchased this one. Um, Hannah Lynn has a whole ton of them available over on that site. <laughs> if you want to know the site, leave me a comment down below in the description and I will look it up for you. Um, and what I did with, with this is when my boyfriend Bob had to go in the hospital for some major surgery uh, that was going to take hours long, um, I put some coloring supplies in here. A couple books, some gel pens, uh, small little di mini diamond painting uh, to do. I did not do the diamond painting, but I did color. Um, so, yes, loved it, and it was the perfect size. So I guess that's coloring related, right? Okay, what's next? What's next? Um, oh yes. Now, these are not Arteza, but I did have this spare case. Um, my Olo markers. Um, these are those very expensive ones. I did a very thorough video on these explaining all the features because I was um, one of the people in the founders group. So I got a really good deal on these and a set of refills. You got essentially got these free. So an entire set of refills for all the pens. And they are just little capsules. Um, you may wonder why I have little rubber bands on the ends. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, because I have, you can pick whether you want brush, whether you want chisel, whether you want them both brush, you want both chisel. They're going to be coming out with a fine tip. Um, I chose both brush. Well, if you're using both ends constantly, um, one might run dry or kind of dry and this one will be full or there'll be half each. I didn't want to do that. Um, so I put a little rubber band around one of the ends so I know use this one up first. Then I'll color it with this one um, and I'll replace this one either right away or not right away. But I know this one is uh, dry. I'll take the, the um, well, I'm going to have to think about that. What am I going to do? I'll have to put this rubber band on this end and somehow indicate that this one is empty. This one's dry. Not sure. I haven't thought that far. I thought the idea was good at the time. But yeah, this is all 120. 120? Can't remember now. Um, but they are going to be coming out with more colors. Yay. Okay, so those are the Olo markers. I'm running out of room, folks. Well, pretty soon I can start putting them back over on this side. This is a more recent purchase. Let's zoom you back out. This I did a swatching video of. It was a very long swatching video, um, but I was requested to do it. Or I had asked if I should do it, and a number of you had said, oh, I am wrong. Where is that one? I'm going to have to go look. Um, 
these are my Spectrum Noir illustrators. And these are not a new purchase. <laughs> I didn't purchase these in the last six months. So, what did I do with the ones that I do want? Um, hang on a minute. Otherwise, I guess I'll have to pause. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I did with them. Oh, unless it's these. Yeah, I found them. I found them. Okay, see, it's just another big black case, so, you know, easy to get them confused. So, this is them. This is the huge 320, right? Uh, Ohuhu brush tip markers. So, like their other brush tips, you know, you have the brush tip and the chisel. I wish you could get a brush tip and a fine tip. But I do know some of you like your chisel tips so i put these in um kind of family color order um and put like the r's together the v's together um b's bg's because they do put you know they numbered them a little bit different they're kind of changing up their their numbering style so that's what i ordered them by Put the fluorescence back there. So, yeah, again, recently did a swatching video of all 320 markers. All right, I'm going to put these on the floor. And <laughs> my illustrator markers that I haven't purchased recently. Um... These are some gel pens that were recommended to me by a subscriber. They are the AEN Art uh, Glitter Gel Pens. It's a set of 100. And I have colored with these um, a number of times when I show you what I've colored for these six months. Some of the patterns I colored with these gel pens. As you can see, I, of course, used some of the purple <laughs> um, but a number of these I've used they are very smooth and I do really like them the one problem that I have with these large sets of glitter gel pens they have beautiful beautiful colors the only problem is when you run out of say this teal color because I love this color and I have maybe only a third left what if you run out of that color three quarters of the way through a picture, a pattern? It's going to be real hard to match that up. So that's the one, one problem um, I have with the bigger sets like this. But there are so many pretty colors in that set. All right. Only a few things left. Um, here are... A few diamond painting related things. Art Dot sent me um, a number of items. Here is a set of storage cases um, that fits the bottles. And these are the nice bigger bottles. And it is a set of four. Now I have two of them stuck together here. Two of them stuck together here. But you can take these apart. You can stack all four of them together and they slide together because of these indentations here and they're risen up on here. So you can just slide them together. I'm not going to do it right now, but be aware that, yeah, you can make any type of, you know, combination and they do have hooks on the back. So if you do want to even hang them on the wall, you can. I almost did it, folks. Yep, almost. Almost went all over the floor. They also sent me this. It is their color chart 
what I like about this is the fact that not only do they have like a painted in color for each DMC number, they actually have some sample drills. So for those of you who diamond paint, this is a really good reference uh, booklet, I guess. The last thing they sent me, and you've probably seen these around a lot. This one's a little bit different. Um, this one has a carrying handle, which I like, and it has Velcro closure. So nothing's gonna slip out. And then we have our, you know, sheets, protector sleeves. Most of them you slide in from the top. These, however, you slide in from the, I think from the side. What the hey? Okay, I lied. I guess I lied. <clears throat> Where? Oh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Yeah, you do. Anywho, I did have it figured out for the video. <laughs> oh well. Um, but yeah, I really like this and I think you can fit 30 by 40 diamond paintings in here. I think. This is the A3 size. Um, they were going to send me an A2 size, which is larger than this, um, but they were sold out. So I got this one instead. Okay, the last Thing I am going to show you is also diamond painting related and maybe I shouldn't have done it in this order and I should have ended up the video or ended the video with something coloring but this is my coloring and diamond painting supplies haul I guess um, this is actually for nail polish <laughs> but it works so perfect for diamond painting because you can fit your little drill bottles perfectly in here. So if you have a diamond painting that has 60 colors, you just fill up your bottles. And that's something else I did purchase. Um, I purchased a whole set. How many did I buy? Hmm, can't remember, um, of just empty bottles um, on AliExpress. Um, and they work great for projects like this. Um, otherwise, you got to steal them out of cases, right? <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, you can just fill this all up. Um, I do have one that is actually larger than this. And because it is so large, I can fill up however many trays I'm going to need. And then I have the top, sometimes two racks empty. I put my glue dots in there. I put my scissors. I put extra pens. I put, you know, whatever you're going to need. Your spare drills, if they don't all all fit in the bottle. So if you're doing a larger diamond painting, you're going to have drills that don't fit in here. So I put those up in here. Um, maybe you want to bling it up and you want to replace and put in some AB drills. I put them up there. You know, things like that. One word of warning. This thing is a B to put together. <laughs> oh my god it took me a long time to put this together um one thing don't try to turn the screw on try to hold the screw or the bolt i should say it tells you to try to turn the bolt onto the screw don't do that because it's literally impossible hold the bolt with like uh pliers and then get a screwdriver and turn the screw. It's a little bit easier. But you have to have small fingers to do this. Oh, let me tell you. I had sore fingers by the time I got this baby put together. <laughs> and I 
Still don't know if they're screwed on tight enough or not, but it's good enough. It's not like it's going to have super heavy stuff in, right? All right. So, yeah, I really like this one and the larger one. The larger one comes in really handy for when you are working on a very large diamond painting. Um, and, yeah, I have used that thing a number of times. But I wanted this one for my medium-sized ones. Um, and I think I'll still be able to have at least the top tray, if not the two trays, open to put all my, my paraphernalia that I'm going to need for that diamond painting. So for now, maybe I'll just put my orthodontic wax in there. <laughs> See, you can do that. All right, so this is my coloring and diamond painting, a little bit of diamond painting, supply haul. So thank you so much for watching me show you all of my goodies. Again, this is six months or so. Actually, that wasn't too bad. I do have a lot of other supplies here that I can't show you yet because I haven't done the swatching videos and I haven't done this and I haven't done that. So I can't show you them yet. <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video and you liked me showing you all of this stuff, please hit the thumbs up button on your way out. You can leave any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comment section below. Of course, if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. I would love to have you. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I'll see you in my next video. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. <laughs> Bye, guys.